You might not know Ola Ray's name, but there's a pretty good chance you know her face. Her role as Michael Jackson's girlfriend in the iconic video for Thriller has made her one of the most recognizable stars in music video history. Today, however, she's living a completely different life, and she's not the only one, either. Michael Jackson's Thriller may just be the most famous music video ever made. When it premiered in 1983, the nearly 14-minute epic transformed everyone's perceptions about what a music video could be. It was part film, part music video, and all Michael Jackson. According to Rolling Stone, it was also the most expensive music video ever made at the time, and even aired alongside a making-of documentary. Though Jackson was stunning as ever throughout, it's hard to forget Jackson's adorable on-screen girlfriend, played by Ola Ray. According to Yahoo!, the actress landed the role after it was turned down by Flashdance star Jennifer Beals first, and she still almost lost out on the part because of a Playboy centerfold she posed for in 1980. It was while on set for Thriller that Ray fell in love with the King of Pop. In an interview with ABC, however, she revealed that she never told him about her true feelings. I didn't tell him, and that's one thing, you know. I hate the fact that I, I didn't get a chance to really tell him how I felt about him." These days, Ray is now a mother living in Sacramento, California. After a decades-long hiatus from the entertainment industry, she jumped back into the acting world in 2019, with a smattering of projects slated for release. But Ray isn't the only music video star whose life has changed drastically since stepping into the spotlight. Here are a few more of the famous faces who are pretty much unrecognizable today. In 1992, Blind Melon released arguably their most successful single ever, No Rain. The song shot to number three on Billboard's US charts, and the music video that accompanied it was equally as memorable. Despite the fact that the song premiered in an era before online viral videos, Deloach's image has become almost as synonymous with 90s-era MTV as Nirvana and the real world. Deloach even later reprised her role for a Weird Al Yankovic video. These days, the former video star is in her mid-30s. She married a financial advisor in 2017 and has since told MTV that people still come up to her all the time with stories about how she changed their childhoods and helped them deal with not fitting in. On occasion, Deloach has even been known to step back into the bee costume. Reality TV fans knew Maddie Ziegler before she ever appeared in the video for Sia's song Chandelier since the dance star got her start in the public eye on Dance Moms. In an interview with News.com.au, Ziegler revealed that Sia was a fan of her work with the series, prompting her to reach out to Ziegler on Twitter and ask her if she wanted to be in a music video. The video for Chandelier, which saw Ziegler don a wig and leotard and thrash around like a pint-sized version of the megastar, garnered almost 2 billion video views, and the pair have formed quite a special bond in its wake. Yeah. She um, is the best person in my life. She really is. Um, she's, I think, my godmom now. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I guess. According to Billboard, Sia even bought her young pal a car for her 16th birthday, which sort of borders more on fairy godmother than regular godmother, but who's counting? 1998 was a weird year for the world. Seinfeld aired its last episode, Ginger Spice quit the Spice Girls, and The Offspring were still a thing people cared about. The latter group released their fifth studio album, Americana, that year, which got rather mediocre reviews despite containing arguably their biggest hit, Pretty Fly for a White Guy. If anything great came out of 1998, however, it's that Americana would introduce the world to Zoe de Chanel, if only for 3 minutes and 44 seconds. Today, we mostly know the megastar for her Fox sitcom New Girl and for her work with the band She and Him. But in 1998, she was a teenage actress who was anything but famous. The year after The Offspring released Americana, Deschanel ended up landing the starring role in the video for their fourth single, She's Got Issues. In that video, Deschanel was anything but recognizable, being totally devoid of her patented bangs and rocking red hair. That same year, she got her breakout role in Almost Famous, which was only her fourth credited acting gig. Back when MTV was known for videos rather than reality shows, Louise Foley Cohen was practically an icon. If you switched on the TV during that golden era of music videos, you'll have likely seen her in Tom Petty's video for Don't Come Around Here No More, alongside a giant mushroom. The video was a psychedelic play on Alice in Wonderland, with Foley Cohen playing the coveted role of Alice. She later told Noble Mania, I got the one-time payment of, I think, $2,500. Since I was a starving actress, I managed to make it last about two months. I didn't even get to keep the costume because it was ruined by the tea and frosting." Since then, Foley Cohen has become something of a legend among classic rock fans. The actress took a second starring role in Petty's video for Make It Better, Forget About Me, and also dated the Heartbreakers' former drummer, Stan Lynch, for five years. Though she didn't think her first video was going to blow up in the way it did, the Houston Chronicle reports that she still gets introduced to new people as that girl from the Tom Petty video, even 30 years after the fact. 
The video for Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's Wings had a powerful anti-consumerism message which railed against the culture around expensive sneakers. The song itself followed the story of a young boy played by Lucas King who begs his mom to buy him trendy basketball shoes so he can fit in with his peers. Ultimately, it ends with his friend's brother dying over a pair of Air Jordans. That said, it's probably not surprising that the rapper got absolutely railed on when he censored the anti-sneaker lyrics for an NBA promotion. Though Macklemore may have been labeled as a sellout, King is still stoked on his starring role in the video. In a recent Instagram post, he claimed that a still from the video was one of his favorite pictures ever. Today, the student appears to have traded up his brief acting career for one in soccer. Let's hope he's taken the message of Wings to heart. In 1991, Michael Jackson tried to top Thriller with another epic 11-minute video. Black or White premiered to an audience of 500 million people in 28 countries, but the cinematic video, which cost $4 million to make, was wrought with controversy after a certain crotch-grabbing moment and some deeply unfortunate racist graffiti, which had to be cut from later versions. One thing that definitely wasn't cut, however, was one of Hollywood's youngest rising stars and Jackson's dear friend, Macaulay Culkin. According to Yahoo!, Culkin and Jackson were known for their on-set pranks. One day, the pair even ended up ditching work and instead decided to reportedly spend $60,000 at Toys R Us. Today, Culkin is more known for his status as a former child star than anything else, but he also enjoys getting up to some internet-based hijinks. For example, he reprised his role of Kevin from Home Alone for a Google ad, trolled his brother on Twitter during the Golden Globes, and launched an online poll to determine his new legal middle name, with the options including Shark Week, Kieran, The McRib is Back, and Publicity Stunt. Macaulay Culkin ultimately won out, meaning the actor's full name is now Macaulay Macaulay Culkin Culkin. In 2011, young actress Adriana Bertola took on the role of a mini Jesse J lookalike in the singer's video for Who's Laughing Now, in which she played an unpopular student who is doing her best to deal with rampant bullying in class. Eventually, she ends up spraying her bully down with a fire extinguisher. Funnily enough, it seems that unpopularity is the least of Bertola's problems. At the time of the shoot, the actress was well-versed in the world of theater and wildly successful for her age. She had starring roles in the stage versions of The Sound of Music and Matilda and has been enjoying a pretty decent TV career after landing a recurring role on Casualty in 2009. She also starred as Violet Beauregard in the original London production of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and has since launched a music career of her own. Bertola released a single called Fire and Ice in 2014. In 2013, Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran sparked romance rumors with their adorable song Everything Has Changed. Today, we know the pair are great collaborators and even greater friends, but at the time, Sheeran had to come out and shut down the speculation that was running rampant in the tabloids. But it didn't exactly help that the pair had released what might just have been the cutest music video ever made. The video for Everything Has Changed featured two children playing younger versions of the stars in a childhood love story. They go from playing in the playground and building bedroom forts to slow dancing in an empty gymnasium. The girl in the video, seemingly meant to represent a young Taylor Swift, was actress Ava Ames. Since her appearance in the video, she's grown up quite a bit. From the looks of her Instagram, it seems that Ames is a normal student nowadays. She's on the varsity dance team and cheer squad and is even still acting, though mostly only in shorts and TV cameos. Fountains of Wayne rocked 2003 with their iconic song, Stacy's Mom. The accompanying tongue-in-cheek music video featured two major stars, actress Rachel Hunter as Stacy's mom and Gianna Distenka as Stacy. Since the video hit the airwaves, Distenka has gone on to enjoy success in a wide range of fields, but acting isn't one of them. Distenka hasn't spent much time in the world of acting since her debut with Fountains of Wayne in 2003. Distenka actually left the United States in 2013 and has since been living in Lebanon, where she works at a volunteer center with refugee kids. Beyond that, she's also a painter and a sculptor who regularly posts her work on Instagram under the name Gianna Dispenza. Though her acting never garnered her much acclaim, it seems that through art, Dispenza has made quite the name for herself. Alison Stoner was the original pop video dancing star. In fact, she had long been a mainstay in Missy Elliott's music videos, while Sia's Maddie Ziegler was pretty much still a zygote. The young actress-slash-dancer grooved her way through 2002's Work It and Gossip Folks, as well as 2004's I'm Really Hot. Since then, Stoner has changed a whole lot and sadly learned the real price of childhood stardom. No longer just that girl who dances alongside Missy Elliott, Stoner has parlayed her sick moves into a lasting film career. She's appeared in hits such as Cheaper by the Dozen and the original Step Up, in which she starred alongside Channing Tatum. But fame isn't all it's cracked up to be. While promoting her single Stripped Bear, oh yeah, she's a singer too, the star shed light on the darker side of childhood fame. She told People magazine, 
Several years ago, I discovered I was being taken advantage of since childhood and left in a very compromised position. My health was affected along with my career path, my relationships, and identity. Nonetheless, Stoner hasn't allowed herself to forget her roots. In 2015, she filmed her very own tribute to Missy Elliott. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.